Okay, this is going to be a quick video to show you how you could use the Teensy microcontroller to communicate with Renoise. Uh, essentially, I'm working with a student who's trying to have an interactive installation that responds to um, light. So there, are, there's a an LDR, light dependent resistor, or also it's also called a photocell, and uh, we'd connect that to the, to the Teensy so that uh, as you pass your hand over this photo cell or this light sensor, the Teensy software would be able to read that. And the next thing it would do is send MIDI messages to a computer that's standing nearby running Renoise. And um, in this case, the idea is just for this example to be able to pass your hand over the, the photo cell and see the, the volume change on one of the tracks in Renoise. So I'll start from the beginning. Basically, this is the Teensy board she's using because she actually has 21 of these sensors, so she needs all these extra pins. But the same goes for any of these Teensy boards. Um, the first thing to do is download the Arduino software because that's the easiest way to program the Teensy. And you just click on uh, your OS here under Download the IDE. You can donate or not and just click Download afterward. So you have to, um, before this next step, you have to install and open the Arduino software at least once. The next step is to download Teensy Duino, which is an add-on for that Arduino software that allows you to work with the Teensy. So it's this top link here, and you just choose your OS and download it. I've already downloaded it, so let me just um, open the disk image that gets downloaded, and then double-click on the installer. I'll click next here, and there are only a couple questions. One is where your Arduino application is. So this is the actual application, not your Arduino sketch folder where you store your projects. It's best to choose all here for the libraries. These are all versions of libraries that you may have seen before with the Arduino, but they're specifically tuned to work with the Teensy. And then you click install. If you've never used a Teensy before, it's worth maybe taking a screenshot of this page. The first time you use it, you'll have to click the Verify button in the Arduino software and then push the Reset button on the board. But after that, you can just choose Upload. And uh, part of what this Teensy Duino software does for you is it, it just uh, installs and reboots the Teensy automatically. So there's no pushing of the Reset button anymore. OK, so I'm going to get out of here and just open the Arduino software to test out the Teensy. I think the Teensy comes with like a Blink type program to start with. So uh, if we open the Blink Arduino example, we may not see much of a difference. So maybe the first thing to do is just change the uh, the rate of blinking. So if I do 200 milliseconds instead of a thousand and upload this, uh, we should see fast blinking on the Teensy, and I do here. So that's all there is to it. Like I said, that first time you might have to uh, do it slightly differently by pressing the reset button. But generally, if you just hit upload, this Teensy uh, window will pop up and it'll automatically say that it installed and rebooted. Okay, so I'm going to actually get out of the Arduino software entirely. I can close the Teensy Duino software. And uh, to be able to send MIDI messages from the Teensy, um, it's actually really easy, and I should have shown you, but I'll show you in a moment. In the Arduino software, you can choose what kind of device the Teensy is going to pretend to be. And uh, and then there's a library for sending MIDI messages already installed. It was one of those in the list when you chose to install all the libraries. But there's a much easier one um, that we can use, and it's called MIDI Controller. So I'm going to show you how to download and install that. Here's the, uh, I'll have the URL in the description below, but I'm going to download the zip. And once I've got it, I'm just going to uh, double click on it. And it basically um, con contains all of the, uh, the library files that we need. I'm going to rename it, this dash master is because it comes from GitHub, but I'm just going to name, rename it MIDI controller before I do anything with it. And the other thing is it contains a library called Flickr which really should be a library of its own. I don't know why it's uh, you know, showing up as a folder within MIDI controller, so I'm just going to drag that out. And what I've got now is a folder called Flickr and one called MIDI controller. They're both separate libraries, and I'm going to install them both. If you've installed libraries in the Arduino software before, I'm going to do this a little differently. Um, I'm going to open the Applications window, and I'm going to find the Arduino software, 
and right click on it and show package contents. If I go into contents, Java, hardware, Teensy, this is where all the Teensy Duino stuff got installed. So in here, I can go into libraries and um, drag these into that folder. And now I'll reopen the Arduino software. And um, I should have shown you this before, but if you look under examples, it has the normal Arduino examples. It's got some other examples, things that I've downloaded. Uh, and then everything else is specifically for the Teensy. So these are all the ones that were installed with Teensy Duino. And if we look now, there's Flickr, which I just added, and MIDI controller. So if we look at one of these examples, uh, for example, MIDI sensor, this is actually really simple. It's basically the exact example I was describing. Here's a photo cell connected to 3.3 volts, and the other end of it is connected to an analog pin, in my case, A0. And uh, then the analog pin is also connected to a 10K resistor that goes to ground. And in my case, it actually goes to A ground, the analog ground. I think either one will work. So um, in this case, basically the only things we have to change are which MIDI channel. I don't know why the example is on channel 5, but channel 0 is probably better. And then uh, the analog pin that the sensor is connected to. Then the MIDI control number right there, the CC number is 23. Um, this is the last line. It really does everything for you. It averages out the values so you don't get weird, weird values. It um, sends them as MIDI CC messages way easier than using the um, MIDI library um, that comes with the Teensy. This is a lot more low level. So uh, in this case, the only last detail is the sensor itself. What kinds of values do we get from it? There is an example under... Uh, under MIDI controller. It's called Rangefinder. You can make that work. It, it kind of averages out the values that it sees from the sensor and um, gives you an average uh, low and high value, and you could put those in there. I think it's probably easier for me if I just go to uh, the normal Arduino examples, go to Basics, Analog Read Serial. So if I choose that and upload it, It's already on pin A0 by default, which is handy because that's the pin I'm using. Um, well, this is supposed to be 9600 baud, and uh, the serial console is trying a different rate. Actually, I think it may be because there's no port selected. So let's try this. Okay, so the, uh, the values that we're getting are about 386 with just the dark room that I'm in, and then as I put my hand over it, it starts going down to almost nothing. Uh, but 30s. So 30 to 390. I don't know. That seems fine. So I'm going to go back to this example and say the lowest that it could be is 30 and the highest might be like 390. And I'm going to upload this. Now there is a problem here because uh, it's basically this needs um, the Teensy to pretend to be a MIDI controller. And the way that we do that is to actually change how it acts through the USB connection. So right now it's set to raw HID. Yours might be set to serial. You can change it to a MIDI interface. You can change it so it looks like four or 16 MIDI interfaces to the computer. I think the easiest thing is to um, use serial and MIDI. Uh, and I'll just choose that. Okay, so at this point, it is uh, essentially sending those uh, MIDI messages constantly and it did upload but what I'm going to do is just change this right now and add a one second delay after every one of those sends and then upload it one more time and you'll see the reason for this in a moment when I go to renoise so it says it's done, done uploading now I'll switch to renoise and uh, there's not a super easy way that I've found to just say I want control code number 23 to be connected to a uh, certain element in the interface. It wants to do MIDI learn, which basically means um, I'll choose uh, a part of the interface and um, if we're going to go into learn mode. Any of these orange things or yellow things, I can click on it and then say that there's a particular MIDI control that should be controlling it. But it wants to use this learning technique, which is that you actually have 
a hardware MIDI interface connected. You click the part of the interface and then you twist a knob or push a button on the interface. What we've got is the Teensy sending messages every one second and you'll actually see up here that green light should flash every second and that's the MIDI message coming from the Teensy. Uh, in your case you may not yet until you go to preferences and actually choose Teensy MIDI as the uh, MIDI input device. But if you see these green lights, this green light flashing every second, then it's probably talking MIDI to uh, Renoise already. Now I'll go to MIDI map, and in this case, it is in uh, learn mode because we've got all of these uh, yellow things that I can click on. I'm going to take it out of learn mode and go over to the mix uh, panel here. I'll go back into learn mode and say this is actually the thing that I want to change. And you'll see within a second, there it is, uh, CC. 23 and that's what I put in my um, in my teensy sketch so it's sending uh, CC 23 for that um, particular uh, interface element so that's how learn mode works um, what's really interesting is uh, we've got basically one mapping control code 23 is mapped to track number two's uh, volume but uh, if I actually save this to a file on the desktop and then open that up in a text editor. It actually is an XML file that you could edit yourself. So if uh, you had 21 of these, for example, instead of just the one, you could copy this section and paste it and end up with maybe track three is, or track four is controlled by uh, control code number 26. So you could actually, um, edit the file itself and then once you save it you'd always be able to come back and reload it here so once you've got the MIDI mappings set up you can just save them to a file so that's that's good to know you don't have to relearn it every time you come into Renoise of course so um, at this point I've got the learn there and uh, it is still sending MIDI messages I think it is so uh, what I should see is if I cover the sensor I can see that it's changing the volume every second. Now I'll go back over to the Arduino now that I know it works and I've got the MIDI learn all set up uh, and I'll, I'll change this so that maybe there is a little bit of a delay but it's only going to be like 20 milliseconds and um, I'll upload that to the Teensy. So now every 20 milliseconds it's sending a control code that corresponds to uh, what it's read from the light sensor in this range. Okay, it's done uploading, and now if I move my hand over the light sensor, you see that it's changing the volume uh, pretty smoothly. And that's about it. If you needed to add more MIDI mappings, you can either edit that file yourself, or you could make a more sophisticated Teensy program that basically just allows you to do the MIDI learn in a controlled way. So if it were me, I might uh, add a button to this um, circuit that I've got for uh, on the Teensy and, and maybe ha have that button cycle through the different uh, control codes that I want to send over and maybe that's how I use the, that together with this to learn all of the codes but uh, it's kind of up to you but at least we've got it connected and um, you saw all the interface elements that you could control with MIDI are now controllable by a Teensy in that case. Uh, I think that's it. Let me know if, uh, if you have any questions and maybe I can help.